Good morning folks, long time no see. Been, uh, been doing a lot of fishing with other people lately and uh, I tend not to film um, with other people. But I'm here on my own today so I've got the camera out. Um, I actually did a couple of videos, I don't know if you've seen them or not, with uh, Matt from London City Angler. So if you haven't seen those, get over to London City Angler's uh, YouTube channel and check them out. There's one on the Grand Union Canal, roach fishing, and then there's one fishing in the fens, again, for roach, but completely different kettle of fish down there. Um, right, here on the Grand Union, probably uh, mainly targeting skimmers today. This, this stretch used to be brilliant for roach, but this year um, they've, they've really been thin on the ground. There's much more skimmers. Essentially, I'm fishing in a little, what's known as a winding hole, which is a, a turning bay, uh, just after this marina. And I'm going to fish two lines. I'm going to fish a whip line down the edge here, about three, three and a half metres. And then I'm going to fish a waggler line on the other side of the boat track, uh, just in case the fish back off. I'm going to start off on punch and basically just see how it goes. All right, let's have a little cast. There's a bit of very gentle flow going that way, and there's a bit of a breeze coming this way. And that, as long as the wind's not too heavy, that, that's quite handy. It helps to just slow the bait down a little bit. Looks like we've got a boat coming round the corner, actually. I'm hoping there's not, not too many boats today. Uh, when fishing for skimmers, that's quite unsettling for them. Roach, you can normally kind of bring them back pretty quick, but skimmers can sometimes go really scatty after boats. Got a three quarter gram rig on. Not mega, mega heavy, but not super light either. Just, to, just enough to give me control. At the moment I'm set up to be just off the bottom and I'm just kind of letting it, letting it trundle through really. So I've been fishing about 20 minutes, half hour, just had my first couple of fish. A little roach and the next cast I just had a skimmer about 8 ounces. I'm putting a little bit more feed on both lines after that boat. And then uh, a little go on the waggler for a bit but nothing on there. I came back on this line and I've had uh, two fish. It's been funny this year down here. It's normally Roach City, absolutely paved with them. But this year they just haven't really been here. Yeah, the bites I'm getting are very subtle, so I might have to muck around my depth or shotting pattern to try and make them more positive. Nice and roach, about four ounces. Might be roach that they're giving these little funny bites. It's normally skimmers that give you odd bites. Roach are normally pretty. Yeah, some roach down there. Interesting. start feeding a little bit of punch more regularly, just little pinches to get a bit of competition going. Hopefully the bites will be uh, easier to hit. Ooh. There's quite 
take it. <laughs> sure it is. It's a big roach. Yeah, is it? Good chunk. Good job. Chubby chub. It's not unusual to get the odd chub down here. Normally get one or two. We've got this little breeze going this way against the flow. I can either let the line bow out on that side and hold my flow back and slow it down, or I can, I can flick it over that way, and that, that helps the flow to run through might try and film that to show you. Sometimes you'll find that they want it running through, other times you'll find they want it still, um, and sometimes it just doesn't matter. Normally every cast do a combination of both. holding fairly still now and there's a bit of a bow there. If I flick that tip, it just whips the line over that way and it, it gives it a bit of slack and it can run through again. Every once in a while I'm just pinging, I don't know, maybe eight or nine pinkies over to my waggler line there. Well, the punch line hasn't been brilliant. But um, picking up quite a few on the waggler actually. Real mixed bag of a dace, roach, perch, skimmers, hybrids. Just fishing a single pinky on the, over there. It's actually been a lot better than the, the punchline down here. Funnily enough, I had a couple of casts over, bumped a couple of fish, and I was about to chuck it up the bank and get the whip out again. Um, I thought I'd have one more cast, I caught a fish, so I thought I'd have another cast, caught a fish. I've actually had a bite of chuck. Just been catapulting you know, ten, 10 pinkies or so every cast. Quite a few lift bites actually. I think they're uh, skimmers. Just, just stay out of the sort of area where the, the boats are stirring it up. Well, there's only been two boats today so far, which is not too bad, really. It'd be nice if I can keep this up. I'll keep feeding the, uh, the whip line as well, because this might die on me, and it might become 
it might come good on the inside here, you never know, I'll just try it every half an hour or whatever. Hybrid. Well, the inside line has not been uh, brilliant. Sort of throwing up the odd roach. It's been dripping a few pinkies in there, but. Uh, a couple of little perch. I'm kind of contemplating putting a few balls of ground bait in down there and uh, well if it pays off it pays off. If not well I'm not too worried about it. The waggler line's producing quite consistently. It'll well, mixed bag really, roach, skimmers, hybrids, a few dates. I've kind of been topping up the inside line with bread and fish just aren't here, so just wondering if uh, you know, a load of ground bait and pinky might uh, attract a few skimmers in. Yeah, it'd be nice to catch a few skimmers down the edge here because it's it's, they're easy to hit, bites on the whip. You know, obviously it's, it's quite a fast method of fishing as well. I think that's what I'm going to do actually. Yeah, I'm not going to muck about. I'm going to put probably six balls like that. Quite a lot of pinky in there. It's not like I've got a swim down there going that's uh, worth nurturing at the moment so if it kills it, it kills it. it pays off it pays off I've got enough stuff out there on the waggler to be getting on with all day and it's quite enjoyable actually fishing the waggler what I've actually done with my waggler rig is I've swapped floats um, I was using that it's quite a light little thing yeah so uh, I've put a slightly heavier float on this waggler rod Got a thicker tip. I've bulked the shot down nearer the hook. I've got a bigger hook on there as well now. And fishing double pinky. And uh, that it just seems to be I want to be able to hold the bait a bit stiller. And uh, the bites are much more positive and hitting more bites. And uh, yeah, it's just it's definitely improved the situation. This little one I had on earlier was too sensitive and too light and it was getting dragged around a little bit too much couldn't keep the bait still enough right let's chuck some ground bait in I'll leave that for half an hour or so and uh, go back out on the waggler. Oops. I don't really know if I'm going to be in shot or not here. Never mind, it's pissing down the rain, so I have the camera under the brolly. Funny old day. Yeah. The waggler line seems to have died on me. Ground bait line in, on the whip didn't really produce. I've just gone over it with the bread punch and caught, started picking up a few fish. Some uh, skimmers, roach, a couple of gudgeon. I thought the rain had killed it dead, but there seems to be a few fish down there anyway. Kind of debating whether to pack up and go home, but we'll 
it out on the whip. The problem with fishing the waggler is you can't you can't help but get wet because of the way you've got to have an umbrella to be able to enable you to cast. Whereas with a whip I've been able to move it over a bit and I'm managing to stay dry at the moment. The trouble is I don't know whether they're here because of liquidised bread or whether they're here because of the ground bait so it's difficult to know what to do. As soon as I'm, I'm catching on bread I'll, I'll feed bread. Well the weather's been pretty rough, this is about the lightest the rain's been all day pretty much. So I'm going to pack up. Um, it's been alright actually, funny old day but uh, plenty of fish caught. Get them out quick and we'll have a we'll have a look at them. Yeah, it's a good bag that. It's getting on. Ooh. Yeah, it's about 20 pounds there I'd say. Lots of skimmers. One really nice roach actually. Yeah, fella. Good one. Home. Certainly more than I was expecting. Yep. Little dirty chub. <laughs> nice big back ropes there. And yeah, loads of skimmers. Right, skim back. No, I'm going to get packed up before I get even wetter. See you next time.